Hey guys and girls, what's going on? In this video we're going to be getting the trophy second is nothing. So to get this what you have to do is finish first in every race in every car in single player. Now that's what the description of the trophy says, but that's not what you actually have to do. I don't know if it's just the way they've worded this, it just doesn't quite match up with the, how they've set the trophy up, but or if the trophy's just set up wrong to activate too early. Um, so basically, when you do doing this trophy, you only have to complete the races once. Every race, you just have to complete every race and win it once. But there's, you have to do it in a whole lot of different cars um, to get to find every race because only each car only has five different races. So um, this is the last race they had to do to get this trophy. But as you'll see at the end, this isn't the last race that I can do and that I have done. So this is only the second race that I've done in this car but um, I've done pretty much every other car uh, except for a few. So I am doing this race so I'm going to let you see the race that I did, the last final race that I did and um, it's one of those races that only this car and the other SRT car has, um, the Dodge Challenger and the Viper have only have this race but they both have it so you can only if you do it in one car you don't have to do it in the other car and so here's the finish and I did do that with the racing wheel PlayStation Move racing wheel so I was pretty proud with that effort um, it takes a little while to get used to the racing wheel but it's pretty cool once you do and the trophy takes a little while to activate because it only activates after you've the game is saved so if you wait for it um, see there's the saving icon down the bottom there and we just have to wait for it and I thought I thought this might have been the case when we were doing this doing that race but and as it turns out it was so there you go there's second is nothing and that was the final trophy I needed and none more wanted was the platinum trophy now as you can see if I go into the start menu and then I go into driver details and I click on my one so that's me speed freak 7 and then you go into single player and then all that and then you get to the top see events played 61 out of 61 and events won 61 out of 61 now you only need to do that you don't need to do every single race in every car as you'll see I'll go into my races as you can, just waiting for me to do it uh, see there you go, I've only done two of these races and I've only won two of these races so uh, it doesn't really uh, matter if you don't do every single race in every car so I don't know what's why that is but that's just how it's set up and I, this is one of the longest trophies to get it took me around about 41 hours of, and that was getting all the other trophies and this so it's about 41 hours to get the platinum trophy on average you know you might do it quicker or you might take longer depending on your skill level so that's it that's all i need to say thank you guys for watching hope you've enjoyed it and now it's time for me to say see you guys and girls